As the world nears its end and the evil monster Malfigor begins to attain world domination, it is up to one man to stop him. But when he realizes he cannot do it alone, he enlists the help of a powerful warrior, along with her Pikachu, to save the world from total destruction. Wars are waged, battles are fought. Who will come out victorious in The Fight for Feyru? Okay, so who wouldn't want to watch this movie? It looks super cool, right? Well, this is our project today. We're going to be making a movie poster out of uh, a collage that we get from magazines. So the materials that you're going to need are a large sheet of paper, a pencil, a ruler, some white Elmer's glue, a sharpie, some scissors, and just a huge stack of magazines. So this is a really, really simple project, but it makes some really, really awesome results. Um, and honestly, your creativity is the absolute limit on this project. So <clears throat> to start off, these magazines, uh, I got them from a half price books. Uh, they were a dollar a piece. I got 11 of them, just spent $11. Um, and I think it's important to get a variety of different kinds. So in order to get kind of like the atmospheric, so you can see on my, on my movie poster here that I have this deep purple up here, that was um, taken straight out of a National Geographic magazine. I think that these provide you with um, some really, really good outside um, and just kind of settings and so backgrounds you can use these. Uh, they also have some mountains and stuff in it. Um, and for characters and things like that, so you see this big old monster and these guys that are uh, there. I got those from a video game magazine, so Game Informer. Um, they have plenty of these there. Um, and these have a lot of really good characters and different things that you can get from video games. Uh, you can make those your main characters for your movie poster or whatever you want. Uh, they also have a lot of really good atmospheric stuff because video games, it's all about the setting and kind of immersing yourself into that world. Um, in addition to that, I got um, some, just a couple other magazines. I think I got a, a GQ and a even a, a Food Network magazine just in case I wanted to make my adventure food themed. Maybe we'll try that today. Um, but I think it's really important that really you just use whatever you want. So kind of as you're making your movie poster, think about uh, what the storyline is going to be because the other part of the project is actually going to be uh, writing out your movie trailer um, on the back here. So this is what I just read to you in that intro sequence. Um, and it can go one of two ways. You can either kind of think about the, the, the plot of the movie as, or before you start, and then kind of build your collage around that. Or what I did is I made my collage first, and then I looked at this and kind of thought, what's the story here? You know, um, like this guy may be the main character and he has to defend the realm uh, from this evil monster. So. It can, it can go one of two ways. Either you create the story first or you create the image first. Um, but either way, you have to write a short story uh, or just that movie trailer at least. So to begin, we're gonna take our large sheet of paper and you can see I've already done this, but I'm gonna show you how, uh, is we're gonna make a one inch border around the entire thing um, on both sides of the paper. So you see, I've got my border drawn there on both sides of the paper. So the way that you're going to do that is you're going to take your ruler and you're going to mark out one inch uh, from the from that side and then go over to the, the other side, mark out one inch. And because this is a long sheet of paper, this is actually 14 by 17 inch paper, um, you're going to, 
if your ruler's too long to go this way, see mine is a little bit too, or my paper's too long for the ruler to fit, um, go about three quarters of the way and mark at one inch again. So you're doing just like that. And then you're gonna connect the dots. So connect the dots and go all the way across. And if your ruler doesn't fit all the way across the page, just line up your ruler again to the edge of the paper and just line it up with that um, with that line that you've already drawn. So you're gonna finish off that line, do that on both sides, and then you're gonna turn your page and do the exact same thing. So do one inch there, one inch there, and do the same exact thing. So that will leave you with a one inch border all the way around, let's see. One inch border all the way around. Um, and then you're gonna do that on both sides. So we wanna do that. Um, and the reason that we're putting it on both sides is so that as you're cutting out your uh, pieces from your magazine, you're actually, um, see how I have all these really clean lines. It's really, really nice and neat. It goes all the way to the edge. Um, well, the, the way that, that that I was able to do that is because I made these margins. And then as I was cutting out things and putting them on them, uh, I didn't cut them perfectly to the edge. I actually just overlapped the edge a little bit uh, so I can see exactly where I want to fill up my entire page because we want to cover the entire page with magazine so that we get a really, really cool image that really stands out um, and doesn't have any blank, negative, or white space. Uh, so you're gonna cut out your images and you're gonna paste them and they're gonna overlap these lines and that's just fine. The reason that we do it on both sides is so that at the end, you can cut off right along these edges and then you're left with these nice, crisp lines, just like this. So, as I mentioned a second ago, I think I'm, a, I'm going to try and do a food-themed movie poster. Uh, so we'll see what kind of that turns into, uh, but I think that would be really, really fun. And it kind of opens up some really, really interesting ideas. So I found this car, and so maybe we'll try to figure out how to use that. So, I mean, these are, these are $1 magazines, so we can just rip it straight out. Uh, and then I'm going to cut right along the lines of that car, but I'm gonna cut it out roughly first, just so I'm not working with this huge sheet of paper. Um, and always save scraps of paper. If you say, you know, I want this car, uh, and you just cut it out like that, well, maybe on the other side of the paper, I'm going to want this purple chair at some point. So I always keep all of my little scraps. Okay. And yeah, from here, I'm going to carefully cut along the lines of the outside of this car so that I have this really nice image to work with. I don't really know exactly where this car is going to be on my image yet, but we will figure that out in a little bit. So I'm going to, again, I know that I want my, my movie to kind of be food themed because I do have this Food Network magazine, but I don't really know how I want or what the story is going to be yet. So I found this car. I cut it out just like that. And I am going to move this out of the way for a second. So I'm going to place it somewhere on here. And I'm going to kind of fill out my space a little bit and get a couple more images. And I will be right back to show you how to attach it and to kind of start actually building the collage once I get a couple other things. Stay tuned. Okay, so I found these couple of images that have a lot of sky in them. So I think I can utilize these to kind of go across the very top of my image 
so that it the sky is kind of filled out because remember we want to utilize the entire space of the page so what i'm going to do and these aren't like perfect matches but you know i think it'll get the same message across i think that'll still be okay um so i don't really want these people in, in the foreground here so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna um, really just as, as cut them out as much as possible so i have just the sky left and i will put it right up at the top and remember i want to overlap my lines because i'll clean it up using the lines on the back whenever that time comes so let's go ahead and glue this on and you don't want a ton of glue because if you use too much glue it'll get really uh, your paper will get really wet and kind of wavy and that's just not as appealing to look at so we're just gonna kind of put some glue on everything but you do also want to make sure that your edges are totally glued down so make sure you get enough glue on the edges okay so you can see there i don't know if you can really see it but put some glue on there throughout the whole thing and i'm just gonna lay it down now you want to start with your background just like this like the top of your page uh, because as you go forward you are going to be layering things on top so um, if you wanted to, let's say, create, um, let's say I found a, this right here that has a lot of this like crystal. Um, it looks kind of like, like sugar crystals or something like that. Um, but we could use this to create like a mountain or something. I think I might do that. But if I put that down first, and then tried to cover up the sky, I would either have to like cut very precisely around what that shape is, or I would end up covering it up. So I want to put down my background first so that we have, or so that as you're layering things down, you can still see everything that's here. So, um, yeah, so that's that half of the background done. Okay, so a second ago, this was the image that I showed you I was going to pair with this one to be the background. But as I was lining it up, I realized that there was just too much contrast between them. You can see that it would just kind of go from blue, blue, blue into like this almost white. So I actually don't really like that one. And it's okay to scrap your ideas even if you think you found one. So I did some more digging and I actually found this, which is like a city um, on some water but I think that if I turn it upside down and put it here, it would actually look a little bit more like the sky that, I'm, that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this city upside down uh, as my sky. And that just goes to show that it doesn't have to be exactly, you know, it doesn't have to be um, exactly what you're looking for. So. I was looking for a sky, but it didn't have to be a sky that I ended up using. So you can be really, really creative with this. Whatever you think fits best for your image is what you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I showed you a second ago also that I had some, um, that I had those that like, sugar crystals or whatever that I thought I might use for mountains. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach to those as well. And see, now you can see that uh, it's not a perfect matchup uh, by any means, but now I have a, a blue sky that is a little bit more cohesive than what I was initially gonna go with. And this all came out of a an upside down city in, in water. So pretty cool stuff. So. I'm going to keep working on this and kind of update you as I go along um, and yeah, just really make it your own. Uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. And so I'm just going to keep diving into these magazines, looking for different stuff and I'll keep you updated and I'll see you in a little bit.
Okay, so a quick update here. I've got my Candy Mountains there in the background. I used that slush advertisement to create some really cool mountains to go right in front of my sky there. And you see here I needed to add an extra little piece of sky there to make sure that it uh, flowed a little bit better still and there wasn't any empty white space. So I'm still figuring out what I want to do with the rest of it here, but I'll see you back whenever I have a little bit more done. Well, I was having so much fun making this picture that I almost forgot to keep and give you guys an update. So I took some cupcake tops and decided to make those kind of like a cloud that cover up these mountains here. And then I took some pasta and these tree trunks are actually from um, like a pork tenderloin ad sort of like this. Uh, so it's kind of like a savory forest here. And then I've got so, a set of bowls here that are uh, gonna be like some colorful plains or something like that. And I actually have a second set of those bowls. And then I will probably finish off those plans here. Um, so I think our, our picture is really coming together uh, and I'll update you guys again in just a minute. See you in a sec. Okay so I've basically finished uh, creating the background for everything and uh, this isn't normally the way that you might want to do it but uh, I went ahead and finished the the background and now I'm going to start adding my characters. Luckily in one of my gaming magazines I found uh, a whole like three or four page advertisement for uh, this video game that has uh, this as the main character. And so it has a big old cut out of him. So uh, I'll be placing him somewhere in here. And then there's more screenshots and stuff from the game where I will be able to cut those characters out and place them throughout here to make it more movie postery like they're going on some kind of adventure or something. Uh, and then after this, I will uh, have to write the the story part, the, the movie trailer part of it uh, to make it uh, my own story. So I'm pretty excited about how the way, the way that it's turning out. And I can't wait to show you guys the final product in a second. Okay, well, I just finished my image, uh, my whole poster. I think it turned out pretty good. And however, as you can see, uh, it makes a real big mess as you're going through all these different magazines and cutting out little pieces and uh, it just causes this huge mess. So why don't we go ahead and clean that up real quick. Okay, and we're totally cleaned up. And I think that our image turned out really, really cool. Uh, you can see some of the stuff that I ended up doing with it, but uh, now it's time to trim it up. So you see that around the edges, I can't see any of my lines anymore. So that is why we did the lines on the back so that you are still able to see those lines and cut along them and you end up with that nice clean edge. So we're gonna go ahead and, and cut off these edges and make this into a real movie poster. Okay, and here is our final product. We got our, our finished movie poster right here, and I haven't uh, written out the whole story yet of what's gonna happen, but uh, here in a second, I'll cut together that final movie trailer, just like I had at the beginning, except for this one now. I'll see you then in a second then. Follow the story of Felden and his companion Ernie as they make their way across the fruited plains, dredge through the evils of the savory forest, and climb the peaks of the Candy Crystal Mountain. Along the way, they will meet many new faces and develop close friendships, all while attempting to save the sweet candy princess from the clutches of the evil Dr. Dumpling. Will they get there in time? Because it's Candy Crunch Time! 
Thank you so much everybody for watching this video. I hope that you guys found this inspiring and I hope that you guys uh, go to your local Half Price Books or wherever you find magazines, pick up a bunch of magazines and make your own movie poster because this project was a ton of fun to do and writing that story was even better and just so much fun. And I really got to use my imagination and figure out what I wanted to create. And this is a really fun project. And so thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel so that you can get even more art tutorial videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.